Uh, it's pretty hard to explain, you know. It's just you got to be, you got to be in the moment. I guess the best fit time to ask me is like when I've done something pretty crazy or like a real hard out entry, you know, and just had it swinging and scraping the wall and tearing the wing plates off or something like that. That's when you'll get in. You'll just be in the zone. Yeah, it's just a, a, a adrenaline, you know, and that's what I love about it. I think was it back in 2007 I think when I bring that car out like um, you know as you, you know see and everyone knows me you know like I drive Commodores you know as a road car and and that was what something that I always wanted to do you know like I wanted to have a, um, a supercar or you know like a, a car that looked like a supercar but drove it properly put it out there and did things that people thought they, you know, wouldn't do. Yeah, that's, um, that's been my whole drive, you know, to keep going in that car and every round it, it gets there and, and there's always something that, that fights, you know, that's trying to beat us and we just, we, we nut it out and we make it work and when you do do well, like, you know, you might not win but we still feel we've conquered it, we've put that car through the paces and, and, and it's challenged me, so. Yeah, it's, it's um, I don't know, it's sort of a little relationship that me and the old girl have and we just, um, yeah, we, we work at it. You know, the whole thing, you know, I've always, you know, wanted to do a V8, um, you know, supercar, but I wanted to make it look fatter and wider and more of a drift style wheels and, and I've achieved that, you know, I felt that I've, I've done the best that I can with that car, you know, have the sort of supercar style kit, and, but, you know, with the um, canards and the more of the drift style wing and stuff, you know, like that was my whole, you know, dream right back when I first started doing it. Manfield was just, I just, you know, the car's never performed like that before. It's not, we haven't gone for huge power. Um, it, over the last couple of years it has struggled with a little bit. It always needed that little bit more, you know, that little bit of an edge on it. Um, just that little bit of punch and, and we've achieved that now. And um, like the car's just, it feels like a little bit more power, but it feels like it's got a shitload more, you know, and um, the torque and, the drivability of it and, and the setup that we've we've, we've built to now um, is um, I think it's a good combination and, and we're going to stick with it. With doing all the changes, that was one thing that we we had to do at the start. Over the years, I've always altered the car quite a bit in between bounds and then it's taken me half around or you know halfway through an event to actually dial the car in and then so you know every event I start again change it hard out and then learn it again um, so now we've done everything we want to do 
and I can just drive it and dial it in and make it better and better. And, you know, so like, at least I'm not getting to the track and feeling like I'm driving a new car again. Uh, one of the highlights would have been for me that weekend would have been going up against Shane Van Gisburg and just like we both just went out there and I mean the whole, you know, everyone's just wanted to see that whole Ford vs Holden V8 battle um, for years now, you know, and it's taken someone like him to to come in and do it. We yeah, went out and practice and I went up, you know, introduced myself in that time and on the practice day Friday and and I said, oh, it's sort of going, oh yeah, struggling a little bit with this and that. Next next time, next session, come out and we'll mix it up a bit and follow my lines. And that's the only way to get into it, just get amongst it and, and have some fun. And um, yeah, he was straight in there. Yeah. Pretty much, we just went out and we, when you you know follow a new guy, you sort of like hold back a little bit. But you know, I knew he could drive and and um, you know, I knew he'd control the car just as good as what we all would. So we were just straight into it, and um, that was me. Yeah. Coming to the um, finals with Kurt, you know, and we've had, me and Kurt have had some pretty good finals in the past, you know, we're both hard out, both, you know, on the, you know, want to win, and yeah, so did the lead run and just pushed it hard as, you know, because I knew he'd be right there. Dan Walhouse is so hungry, he looks a man on a mission, he wants that title this year. Kurt Whitaker wants it as well, he's chasing hard, 65 cars, but what a mistake, Kurt Whitaker goes wide, too wide, and he's now on the grass, that pushes him out, that's a 10-0 to Fang and Dan. He had the, he had a bit of an off in that, and not me, you know, I don't have any headsets or anything like that, you know, but it, it wouldn't have mattered, you know, like, I still go, I don't want to win, you know, by just doing a lazy run out the back, just, you know, playing around, I was like, you know, I want to, I want to, him. Kurt Whitaker has got to do everything in his power now to try and force a transfer. Here we go, the big initiation, Kurt Whitaker on the lead, the Castro Edge Comet on the chase, what a chase it is! Fangadan is coming in hard and fast, well was there contact there? Fangadan looks like his car is damaged, are his round hopes dashed? He's off off the track, that will be a 10-0 to Kurt Whitaker, which makes it even. It's a 10-0 first to Fangadan, because Kurt Whitaker came off, and now Fangadan has come off, so he scores a zero as well. It's a clean slate, which means it will be a rerun. Yeah, we just clipped his rear wheel, and, and it, um, like, quite a bit of pre, you know, like when you go into someone's wheel, there's like, you know, it's quite a bit of pressure, and it sort of must have just spun the, the hub on the wrong angle, and yeah, it broke it. So, um, we were come in, and I was like, oh, come in, wobbling into the pits, and, um, the boys were like, oh, it's over, you know, and I was like, just start doing it, you know, let's just get it, you know, and, um, five minutes, 30 seconds, eh, and, um, yeah, we were just a little gutted, you know, it's a um, bit, bit disappointed, you know, like we all uh, agreed last year, there is a five minute rule, but it's up to your mate, you know, to wait, you know, if, if he was in my position, I would have drove up to his pit and sat outside his pit going, is it going to happen mate, you know, if it's a no go, if it's going to be half an hour, well then, no way, you know, but um, five minutes, 30 seconds, um, and we, you know, dropped the jack, um, we were gutted, you know, so, but yeah, we were stoked, we were happy to be there, we made it, yeah, we conquered what we wanted to conquer, you know, getting the truck ready, getting the car ready, um, felt good, you know, everyone loved the new car and we loved the truck and yeah, we just um, 
still we were stoked, you know, to finish where we finished. Bang it down, Woolhouse! What a goal! You know, like that's been a bit of a goal with this car. I think um, once I once I won a championship uh, in that car, then then I'll retire, you know, and put it away and, um, and try something new, you know, a new challenge. So um, that's the drive um, that's been driving me to, to keep going in that car, you know. And, um, I'm definitely really looking forward to the season, you know, and definitely going to push every driver out there as hard as I, you know. Um, I'm not afraid to write it off or anything, you know, I want it, it's, it's on, yeah. Bang is back. Bang is back. Thank <laughs> you.